Okay, for this project, I am using, I took the tag off, but this is Caron Simply Soft. All it is is a worsted weight, four ply acrylic yarn, and you don't have to use that brand. You can use any type that you want, and I'm actually using two strands at the same time. So I got two skeins, and I'm pulling from both of them. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with the slip knot with your two strands of yarn at the same time. I'm actually making this to fit a child, um, like I'm making it for my daughter. So what you want to do is chain five. And now I'm going to slip stitch back into the first to form a ring. If you want to make this for an adult, I can show you how real quick too. But start out like that. So you have your ring. Now we're going to be working V stitches through the center of the ring. So I'm going to start off with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And that chain four actually counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So now I'm going to yarn over and go right back through the center and do a double crochet. And that is our first V-stitch. So now we're going to go ahead and do another V-stitch by double crocheting, chain one, and double crochet again. And that is another V-stitch. You can see the double crochet, chain one, double crochet is a V-stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Double crochet, chain one, go back in and double crochet. Like that. Another one. So I'm going to go around and I want to put a total of eight V-stitches all the way around until I get back to the beginning. So I'm working on number four, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So there's another one. And I'm gonna go around until I have a total of eight. And once you make it back all the, all the way back around and you got your AV stitches, you wanna go ahead and slip stitch into the third chain of your chain four. Now, if you want to make this for like an adult, I would do 10 V stitches here instead of 8. Follow the pattern the rest of the way but put 10 V stitches here instead of 8 and it'll make it a bit bigger. Now I'll close this circled up you can usually pull your tails and it'll close it up a little bit more. So, not all the way but it will and then you can sew it shut the rest of the way at the end if it, you don't like that. Okay once you got this made or this uh, slip stitched and ready for your next round you want to go ahead and slip stitch right over to the middle of this first V stitch. So just go through and slip stitch like that. Now we're going to be working like uh, double V stitches. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to go back into that V stitch and do a double crochet like that. Chain one and then we're going to go back in the same spot and do two more double crochets. One, two. And you can see, I think it's called a double V stitch, but anyways, it's just like a V stitch. We just did it the same, except for we add an extra double crochet on each side. Now we're going to jump right over to the next V stitch, the next chain one space right here. Not this, but this space here. And do another one. So we're going to go through and put two double crochets, one, two, chain one, go back in the same spot and do two more double crochets, one, two. So there's another v, double V stitch and we're going to put one of these in every single chain one space that from the previous row. So here's the V-stitch, here's the space from the previous row, so jump right over to it and do another double V-stitch. Two doubles, 
in that same stitch, chain one, and then two more doubles. One, two, like that. And you want to do that all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, when you make it all the way back around, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into this beginning chain three, like that. And now what we're going to do again to start is we're going to slip stitch over to the middle of this first V stitch. So go ahead and slip and stitch into the next stitch. And then one more slip stitch to bring you right through the middle. Now this time we're going to do a triple V stitch. So we're going to go ahead and start out with a chain of three. And we're going to go ahead and put two more double crochets in the same spot. So counting that chain three, we'll have a total of three double crochets. And we're going to chain one, and we're going to go back into the same spot and do three more. So now it's still basically the same thing we just did, except we added another double crochet on each side to make it a little bit bigger. Oops. Like that. Again, we're just going to jump over here to the next chain one space to the next V-stitch. So we're just skipping all this stuff right here and find, looking for the next chain one space in the middle of the next V-stitch and doing it again. Three double crochets. Chain one. And three more doubles. One. two and three. Again, skip all this and look for your next v-stitch space which is right here. Jump over, do it again. Three doubles, chain one, and three more doubles. So you want to repeat this pattern all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around the end of that third row, again, we're gonna slip stitch into the top of the beginning chain three. Now, from here on out, it's just gonna be a repeat of that row that we just did. Well, there we go. So we wanna start every row from now on by slip stitching over into the chain one space. So we slip stitch into the next stitch and then the next stitch. Every row is going to be like this from now on. And then the next spot will be the chain one. Okay? And then we start by chaining three, doing two more double crochets. So we'll have a total of three double crochets in that spot. We chain one. And then go back into the same spot and do three more. One, two, and three. And then we skip all this and jump over here to the next V stitch space and do it again. Three doubles. Chain one, three more doubles. Ah. Skip all this until you see the next chain one space again. Three doubles. Chain one, and three more doubles. And you want to repeat this row until you get the length that you want the hat to be. Now, like I said, I made mine for my daughter, so I did a total of, from the very, very first row, nine rows. Now, you can adjust it to fit your child. If you're making it for an adult, you, you might need more rows. I don't know, probably, maybe not, but it's completely up to you. But I want you can be done now if you want. You just tie off and hide your tail, which I still have to do. But I'm actually going to put a flower on mine. 
if you want to do that, I can show you how to make a flower real quick. Go ahead. And I'm just going to use the two strings of yarn, just like we did for the hat. And I'm going to leave a long tail so I can sew it on to the hat with. But start with the slip knot, and I'm going to use the same size needle that I've been using. And I'm going to do a chain. Of five. Now I'm going to go back into the first one to form a ring. Like that. Okay. Okay, I want to go ahead and start off with the chain of four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to do three triple crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one triple. The triples where you yarn over twice. Two. Two triples. Three triples. Like that. And now I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go back down through the ring and slip stitch. So that is one flower petal that I just did. And you can actually do as many petals as you want. I'm going to do five. So I'm going to chain four again. One, two, three, four. This is just a simple little flower to put on. Nothing fancy. If you want to use a different flower, you can. That's fine. Chain four, and then I'm going to do three triple crochet. One. Two. Three. Chain four. Two. Three. Four. Go back through the center of the ring and slip stitch. And I'm going to do this for a total of five times. Okay, I went ahead and got my five petals done and I just did my chain four and slip stitched into the ring just like for my last petal. Now I'm going to do is just tie it off now. Okay. Kind of adjust it a little bit like that. And I'm going to sew it on to the hat. If you want to do this, you can sew it wherever you want. I'm just going to use my yarn needle. So you decide, you decide where you want to put it, and I got my yarn needle, and I'm just going to sew it on. Um, or right about here somewhere, and just sew it right through. I actually have both strings on my hook, so I'm going to sew it all the way around, come back up through. Back down. Back up. Through. Just do this until it's on really tight and you feel like it's not going to come off. Just keep sewing around the flower. That's all I really do. There ain't really no special way to do it. Just so it doesn't come off, that's how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep sewing it on until I feel like it's on really tight. Okay, once you get that all sewed on, one other thing I'm going to do, you don't have to do it. I'm going to sew a button in the middle of my flower just for decoration. So I'm only going to use one of these strings to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and 
kind of weave them both in a couple times on the back here so they don't come undone and I'm gonna pull one of them off and then the other one I'll keep on and I'll just continue and I'm with that same string and just sew this on just like you would a button and if you want to use a sewing thread and needle you can you can do that too I just thought since I already had this on here I would just use the yarn but sew it on a couple times And then once you get it sewed on, just go ahead and hide this other piece of the tail. Cut it off. If you put the button on. Again, it's just a decoration that my daughter wanted. So, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hide these tails. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to this hat. It's super easy. So, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And you can always come check me out on Facebook. I'll put a link to my Facebook page below in the description box. And if you make anything, I'd really like to see a picture. You can post it on my, my Facebook page. And then until next time, have a good day.